Did you guys hear about Barry? What about him? I heard that he was at the movie theater. Like, remember when he called off on Tuesday? Mm -hmm. I heard that Becky or someone saw him at the movie theater with, like, another chick. I gossiped when I was, like, a teenager. And why did I do it? Part of it was I loved having all that juicy information. I loved being the center, having all the skinny on everybody, knowing what was going on. I also liked the power of analyzing people and understanding. The truth is a gossiper has power has all the information, information is power, has the skinny on people, that's power. So what I need to do if I'm a gossiper is find other ways, and I need a supervisor who's going to help me, find other ways to use my power effectively. Walking into a program where there's a lot of gossip and negativity is like walking into a minefield, because you just can't tell when you're going to get into trouble, and who's going to gossip about you next. So the director has probably the central power to make a difference because she can start off with herself or he can start off with himself because the most important thing is to say what's in it for me about gossiping am I going to gossip am I going to you know when I see a problem coming my way am I going to deal with it indirectly so it's really important for the director to say ask the honest question do I feel like gossip can end or is it we're going to be all, like death and taxes? My mother used to say, we're always going to have death and taxes. Are we always going to have gossip? I don't think so, because I think that the director can do a number of things. And it's in, also interesting to me in terms of neuroscience that um, we are wired to magnify a director's influence more than we're wired to listen to someone else's into a peer's influence. So if the director takes a stand, we're all going to feel that. So if the director comes in and says, you know what, today's the first day of the rest of our lives. By the way, that was said in the third century BC. Can you believe it? So it must be, still be true. <laughs> so today's the first day of the rest of our lives. And she calls the staff and she says, look, let's talk about gossip. People looking at each other like, what is she doing? We're not supposed to talk about this, it's what we do. Let's talk about gossip. I'd like you guys to get into small groups in a minute and talk about what you think gossip is and what it's doing to the organization. So basically, she is bringing to the level of consciousness something that's always been there but people won't talk about. And she says, look, I've read studies that 68%, true story, 68% of early childhood professionals experience gossip, negativity, backbiting, backstabbing, and whining daily. Now let's talk first in small groups about how does that affect children? How does it affect children if they see people gossiping and being negative? What happens? So, that, so then you invite the teachers to talk in small groups about what happens with children when they watch adults. And before you know it, the, the staff are saying, well the children, I just saw little Jane. Little Jane said, I'm not going to play with Madison for a hundred years, are you? So ch obviously children are learning for us, from us. Must be excited. Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold that story. I just, I just remembered this. Did you hear the rumor about ja uh, Janet? So what can I do if I'm trying to maintain a gossip-free work environment, and the gossiper comes, gossiper comes up to me? There's a lot that I can do. Let's let's step aside first, though, and say it's about power. If if I'm the director, I have the power to hire and fire. So I can, I can uh, take the gossiper through pr progressive discipline. But if I'm just another teacher. She comes up to me. I know if she gossips to me, she will gossip about me. So what I know is if I confront her directly. By the way, confrontation, confrontation doesn't mean to smack somebody. It means to bring people face to face to work out the difficulties.